Hey everybody, Masaki here, and welcome back to another episode of Shining Force Legacy of Great Intention. In this fight, we'll finally make some decent progress on the fight here on the bridge, which includes dealing with, once we get over to it, the laser eye all the way over here, which is what they were digging up in the quarry. And as you recall, at the end of the last video, we actually lined everyone up over here at the side of the bridge and waited for the laser eye to fire for the first time. Oop, so I actually have a decent bit of time before it fires again. But we're still gonna kinda keep um, Balroy off the bridge itself so that he doesn't take up a spot someone else can be going because we have limited space on the bridge itself, which is again one of the perks to a flying character. We probably will not be moving everyone onto the bridge right away, simply because, you know, we're not going to be getting everyone to safety, and you're very limited on space in that one safe area. So we'll be moving a small number of people who we're pretty sure can get to that safe area up onto the bridge and moving them forward and everyone else is going to be moving on the bridge but they're going to be staying close to the start of it. And there you go. As you can see, once you start moving people on the bridge, as opposed to targeting an enemy, it'll target one of your party members instead on its, on its turns. Alright, let's take out this lizard man. Main flicks 18 points of damage, defeating it. Got 22 experience, 150 coins. Level increased to 12. Attack increased by 2. Speed increased by 1. Hit points increased by 3. Alright, Henri, I think I'm gonna leave her down there. So I think I'll try to move in Xylo. The leader I'll leave there for now. Alright, there we go. Gort's out of danger now. Have Luke attack the Dark Priest here. Uh, darn it, he missed. Wow, he attacked twice and missed both times. That's pretty, um... Unusual. Alright, now that we have every pe people on the bridge, we're gonna start drawing the other two Pegasus Knights down. The first one comes down and attacks May. He did one damage to her. The other one's coming down towards the bridge now. That Dark Priest is going to heal what very little damage he has. So he heals one damage. If you have an Archer, taking them as well as um, your Knights because of the Spears they'd be using right now and at least one caster. And the Birdman, if you're using one or both of them, would be really handy at this point to help take out the three archers here, the Dark Elves, a little faster. So that you can set your party over here without having to worry about being bombarded by the Dark Elves. So you can set them right here without having to worry when the laser eyes is about to fire. Just a bit of advice. Alright, there's the next turn. It's going to target the Silver Knight, though, now. Alright, so I think we have three more turns to get everyone prepped. And I'm gonna go all out with Blaze 2 though. So, Tau cast, Tau cast Blaze 2, does 9 points of damage, got 24 experience. 
Gonna move Xylo up and attack this other uh, Pegasus Knight. He inflicts 11 points of damage. Attacks again. Kills it with another 11 points of damage. Defeating him. 48 experience. 108 coins. <laughs> Levels up to level 13. I told you he's a beast. Alright, those guys are gonna stay there. Have Bob Roy move down and start attacking this one Dark Elf. Does 7 points of damage, got 14 experience. Crap. Okay. Nice attacking Tau. Does 8 damage. Alright, the other Dark Owls attacking Bulbaroy. Does 9 damage to him. I'll move Gord up here to attack this um, priest. Does a critical hit for 28 points of damage, defeating him. Got 8 experience and 125 coins. Move Luke over and try to attack this Pegasus Knight. Darn it, he missed again. Got 1 point of experience, which is apparently enough to level him up. Increased level 12. The points increased by 1. Those two lizard men are not going to move, they're just basically blocking the bridge up there. I'll try to kill them before it fires, but it's going to be pretty risky, essentially, to try to do that. Heal Tau. Dark Elf. Finished off with 20 points of damage. Got 9 experience and 160 coins. Finish off this Lizard Man. 14 points of damage defeating it. 11 experience, 150 coins. See if this will finish off the Pegasus Knight here. Blaze 1. Nope, 7 points of damage. 18 experience, level 12. 2 defense, Blaze level 3 now. Very nice. Have Bulboroy attack this Dark Elf over here. 7 points of damage, 14 defense, level 1 up to level 9. Defense increased by 1. See if Luke can actually land a hit this time. Yeah, there we go, finally. Inflicts 8 points of damage, defeating the Pegasus Knight, got 35 experience and 180 coins. Alright, we should be safe for another turn. Yeah, we're safe for his next turn here, so... Let's try to take out this guy. Alright, main flicks 19 points of damage, defeating this Dark Elf as well. Got 9 experience and 160 coins. Move 
our way over and attack this guy. Took 7 points of damage, got 10 experience. Oh wait, three people, I only have two more free spots, okay. I'm gonna move the leader over. Because Chris is not gonna have room there. There we go. Alright, Luke should have room. And even if he doesn't, he should have enough room to survive a hit. There we go. And there is how you move people forward and avoid taking damage. Let's see, we'll be down there. And now it should fire. I don't know, it'll fire the next turn. Or I attack this guy again. Hits him for another 7 points of damage and another 10 experience. Alright, just moving those people into position to have them finish them off there. Move up here shortly. Now we we'll take a hit. I just wanted to get the kill on this guy. He got 14 experience for killing him and 150 coins. I think he did 17 damage there. In case you're wondering. I know for sure what he got for experience and the money that he got there, so don't worry about that. Yeah, so he hit loot for 11. Hit the Silver Knight for 12 points. And now those guys will be moving into that spot where these guys... And now everyone that got left back at the start will be moving into the safe spot this round. I didn't see the damage that a Balroy did, but he defeated the enemy, got 27 experience, and 160 coins. Yeah, go ahead and attack May. Alright, so Silver Knight attacked May and did one damage. Start moving everyone else up and further into the field here. Now there's actually another Easter egg further along in this fight, so... I have to remember to look for it after the fight finishes. And once your leader's off the field, the laser eye always targets them. Okay, a warm-up sequence initiated. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Blah, blah, blah. You get the picture. Sorry there, just kind of lost focus of talking for a second. And focus on moving people. Alright, so Gort finished off the Silver Knight with 14 points of damage. Gained 20 experience and 75 coins. I am going to actually keep Luke um, back here to heal him. And sadly, we are not going to use Arthur at all. I 
Alright, these two are now outside of the range of the laser eye as well. Alright, Chris heal Luke for 12 points of damage. And she gained 14 experience. I'll move Bob Roy over here to get him healed up too. Oh, the Dramatic's gonna come over to attack Xylo. The Dramatic attacks, does a critical hit of 8 points of damage, because he already hit level 13, so... He's not gonna necessarily get that big of a damage strike off on him. Silver Knight, which is the boss of the fight, actually moves back down there. And the Dark Priest, which is the boss's healer, moves down with him to help heal him. This right counts down again, 6 5, so I have two more turns. Or two more rounds of turns, I should say, to be a little more clear. Before it fires, let's start attacking the laser eye this turn. Nice! Xylo attacked it twice, doing 22 damage total, 11 points of damage each attack, then got 33 experience. Gotta attack the lizard man with May. She does exactly 20 points of damage, killing it. Got 20 experience and 150 coins. I think Blaze 2 should be enough to finish the Laser Eye. Oh, nope. She did 6 points of damage and got 9 experience. I'll move Gore right here just in case that way is out of range. Gore's gonna attack, finishes off the Laser Eye with 8 points of damage. 48 experience and 350 coins. Now we can move everyone forward without any trouble. Since the laser eye is out of the picture. using Arthur, we can just continue to leave him back there, essentially. Let's heal up Balboy a little bit. Balboy gets healed for 13 points. And Chris gains 16 experience. Easter item is actually down here, I think. If not, then it's on this island somewhere. I will definitely at least save state before um, finishing the fight if you have to do it before the fight's finished, if you can't walk around. So don't worry about that. We will find the item one way or the other. For now, let's just get everyone grouped together again. This is supposed to be like a block of stairs, by the way. Oop, wrong button. and Chris over as much as we can in their turns. 
Baron, I might as well move Arthur, that way we're not wasting quite as much time. Eh, we only have two enemies left. I might as well try to finish the video this time. Or finish the battle in the video this time, as opposed to finishing in the start of the next video. So we'll go over for the time being. Alright, my next turn, aside from Arthur, going to save state, just in case. Start moving down to take these guys out. Nope, that way we're moving down with everyone, and someone else can wait where he or would wait where I would have put you. But you're still with everyone else, and not that way you're still standing where everyone else is, but you're not in the way. I think we have to wait until um, at the end of the fight, so... Now let's have Luke attack the Silver Knight here. Attack does 13 damage. Attacks again, does 14 damage, killing him. Gains 32 experience and 75 coins. You may have beaten us here, but General Elliot will stop you in POW. Or PO. And that was the boss finishing the fight, so we get no experience for the dark piece there, but oh well. Everyone's already, you know, well on their way to t past level 10, or they're a couple levels over level 10 anyway, as it is at this point, so it's not that big a deal. And the guy that got knocked off the bridge survived, and he climbed back up and says, Phew, I thought I was, I thought I was a goner, but I cut a branch and just hung on. A great battle. I don't know who you are, but I want to tag along. Pell joins the Shining Force. And we have yet another knight. A good job getting to that laser eye. Hurry on to Peo. Evil is afoot. With the laser eye gone, the Shining Force heads to Peo, the moving town the moving town of Peo. Knowing that Runefrost is gathering its forces, our heroes hurried onward. Okay, so that was the end of the chapter. It's a good thing I made the save state then. Do you want to record your exploits so far? Sure. Chapter 4, The Great Fortress of Balbazak. The Shining Force reached the Pale Prairie to discover that Pale was a town of wagons. Alright everybody, we're three minutes over. I would have normally saved the intro into the next chapter for the um, next video. Whether we get a repeat of that or not here, we shall see. So until then, everybody, remember to subscribe, leave a like and comment if you want, and I will see you all in the next one where we start officially chapter four in Shining Force. So until then all, goodbye.
Thank you. 